In honor of Veterans Day, Grid Hospitality Group is offering free meals to servicemen and women. They say it's a way to give back to the people who served our country. As our Valerie Bell explains, veterans will have several different restaurants to choose from. Four Worcester restaurants are offering free meals to veterans over the weekend and on Veterans Day. For the Grid Hospitality Group, it's very important that we acknowledge those who have served our country and our city. Alfredo Vieira is the Director of Operations for Grid Hospitality Group, which owns the restaurants offering promotions. Vieira says it's important to the company to engage and give back to the community, especially those who have fought for the country. And a lot of times, uh, you know, we don't get to say thank you face to face. So we wanted to make a grand gesture and be able to thank those who have served our communities in our country. The restaurants are all located along Franklin Street in downtown Worcester. Those restaurants include Beer Garden and Pavilion, Brew on the Grid, Craft Table and Bar, and Revolution Pie and Pints. Brew, they could come in, they get a free drink of their choice, even a pastry or a sandwich and in Bear Garden they could do the same. It would be a free appetizer. Sunday, Craft Table and Bar and Revolution Pie and Pint are offering a free entree to all veterans. Just come in and let us know that you serve. State Representative Harold Naughton joined the United States Army Reserve following 9-11 and says he appreciates the acknowledgement local businesses are making. But when uh, mom and pop restaurants or chain restaurants or groups step up for something like that, it, it shows that they acknowledge the sacrifice that were made. Naughton added these efforts made by the restaurant show the importance of recognizing the shared sacrifice of those who served. Sacrifice, the stepping up, uh, is important uh, to acknowledge the, apart from the political climate in our country today. It's one thing we can all share. In Worcester, Valerie Bell, Worcester News Tonight.